Hi guys, it's Nick and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about my almost perfect brush collection. This is going to be part one of a series that I'm doing on my brushes because I know a lot of my viewers are actually beginners and I'm here to say that brushes make the most impact in terms of application, blendability, and how good your makeup looks every single time. So today we're going to be focusing on face brushes first and this is the one that I feel like I only have a handful of makeup brushes left that I need to purchase and these are really just nice to haves and are for a specific application. The core brushes I'll be talking about today are the brushes that are going to be my ride or dies and brushes that I will always repurchase if I ever lose them or if it ever breaks. So if you like content like this, please don't forget to subscribe down below so you get to see my face more often in your YouTube feed. So we'll be talking about the brushes in order of application, starting with foundation. For my foundation brush that has gotten rid of my beauty blender, it's the Sonia G Jumbo Base. Now, this is actually part of a set from Sonia G, but I bought these individually to avoid getting taxed since I live in the Philippines, but that is besides the point. Now, this is actually a mix of natural and synthetic brush hairs, so it's perfect for cream products. The set was actually created to make up the application of cream products way easier and way more seamless and i have to agree because i love my beauty blender and for something to replace it it must be better now you'll notice that this brush head is actually not the same length in terms of hairs and that's meant to kind of adapt to the natural curvature of your face this also doesn't leave any streaks and I actually tend to only wash this maybe only two to three months and that's mainly because natural brush hairs are actually brushes that are a little bit more delicate so you don't have to wash them as often but even if I don't wash, the, wash this specific brush as often it actually doesn't interfere with my makeup application and i also love that whether i'm using a tint or a heavy foundation or anything that's a little bit darker this actually does not look dirty and trust me i've used this i think for two months it is due for a wash today and it still looks really clean next up we have our concealer brushes and i also have two for you and these are still part of a set because I find that buying a set actually saves me a lot more money and don't worry the sets that I actually chose have zero duds meaning all the brushes that are part of the set is useful and I find that you can only really get that for higher end brushes or when a makeup artist collaborates because they're really thoughtful in the kind of brushes that they put so these two brushes I use for concealer and they both have a purpose. If I want a more diffuse application or just an overall concealer brush, then I use this one. I can put this under my eye, in my nose, under my lips, etc. It gives me a really nice airbrushed finish. But this brush, which is the number 10 brush, I actually use for more pinpoint concealing. So if I have a blemish or I have a mosquito bite or anything that I want to cover up, or if I'm using a more thicker concealer base, then I use this because when you apply it on a certain area, it only focuses the pigment in that area. So I really like this for that. So for contour or bronzer, I also have two brushes for you again. And the first one is the Sonia G Base 1. This I really like for products like this, which are a little bit more emollient and usually require a finger to apply. I find that this brush is a little bit more hygienic and it also applies the product much better than my fingers. 
This actually reminds me of my OG favorite from years back and it's the Real Techniques stippling brush. So you'll notice that this has a flat top similar to a stippling brush, but it's a little bit more dense. I love this for pushing in the product into like my cheekbones and the crevices of my face and I find that this blends the product really fast. And it actually also reduces the stickiness of the product because uh, the Tower 28 cream products tend to be a little bit sticky. This other one is for general blending of any contour or bronzer. I use this to blend out my Fenty Matchsticks or my Makeup by Mario Contour Stick and it just blends things in seamlessly. This is the Classic Base, which is also part of the Fusion series, which means that it's a mix of natural and synthetic hair. You can actually also use this for blush, but I have other brushes for that and I find that I really like this for contour because it has a bigger domed head and it allows me to finish contouring really quickly. We're still not done with contour, I still have two more brushes for you and these are more for a specific type of application. So starting off with the Sonia G Sculpt 4 since it's a pretty unique shape, I actually am not a fan of fan brushes but this is what converted me to fan brushes. I actually found this brush because I was watching Tor Torres channel and he also purchased this and I just love how it applied the products and I found it really cool. So yeah, this is a more dense than the typical fan brushes you find in cheaper sets or in other sets. I find that Sonia is really known for her fan brushes and I use this for a more skeletal type of contour if I really want to sculpt my face. Now you can still diffuse the product with this one but I just find that it's a little bit more targeted, it doesn't spread too much so if you really want to be like that, <laughs> this is the brush for you. You can actually also use this for brush or for highlight but I tend to love this a lot for contour and I can use this for both the Tower 28 or the Emollient contours and the Matchsticks or the Makeup by Mario. Whether it's dry or emollient, I can use this. This next one is your typical contour brush shape but it's way smaller. This is the Morphe E62 brush and I use this to sculpt my nose. I find that this allows me to just really shape the nose that I want to create and it also applies the product really well. Very diffuse, no harsh lines and fits my small nose really well. I can't believe I almost forgot this fan brush from Sonia G and it's the Sculpt One brush. This is actually her largest of all her fan brushes and I generally use this for bronzer because it's such a huge brush. I mean comparing it to the Sculpt 4 you can see how large this is and even when you see it on my face it's larger than my cheek, so it helps me get the job done fast. But despite being big, I love that it still applies the product very airbrush and in a very diffused manner. And it actually blends really well. It's perfect for my neck, it's perfect for here, here, and the other sides of my face. So yeah, I really, really like this brush. Some people say that you can actually use this for setting powder, but I find that it's just too large. I, I like a pinpointed type of application, so I use a different brush for that. For blush, I actually have four brushes for you and this is mainly for powder blushes and the only reason i have four brushes is because i don't want to mix blush colors so you'll notice that this brush actually has a more peachy or nude kind of <laughs> color and this one is pink so that's mainly the reason why you'll notice that i'm a fan of certain shapes because these two actually have the same shape now this is the refer 05 and this is the spectrum xkjh02 brush so i love this kind of 
kind of brushes because it just helps me apply to a larger part of my face. I mean, this obviously is bigger than this one, but they generally have the same shape. And this is synthetic and this is natural. So I tend to use this for powder and this I mix it up. I sometimes use it for powder, I sometimes use it for cream, I just pick which side I want to use for powder and which one I use for cream. And then these two other brushes, this is for more a sculpted high cheek kind of vibe where I only want to apply to a certain part of my face and you'll also notice they are the same shape. They look like contour brushes but I really like this shape for blush. So this is the Refer 04 and the KJH X Spectrum 05 brush. So both still come from a set but you can also purchase this one in smaller sets and this one individually. So yeah, um, I also use this for nude and this one for peachy pinks. So you'll notice that my refer brushes are actually for more nude brushes, nude blushes, and I don't know, it just kind of is a system that works for me, but both really work for any type of color. Up next is cream blushes, and I have to say, I think I have a new obsession with cream blushes and I think it's an obsession that doesn't hurt anyone. Uh, so I have specific brushes for that and it's these three brushes. I'll start off with these two and these are basically kind of stippling brushes but in different shapes. So this one is a more angled shape and this one is a more rounded shape and to be honest, I don't really have a preference, whichever is clean, whichever is the closest to the blush color that I want to apply is the one I use. Although I think for a more pigmented blush, so for example, Beauty in the Philippines or Rare Beauty, I tend to like this brush more because it, because it's not an even kind of bristle length. It applies the product more diffused in some areas and more pigmented in some areas. So the shorter the bristles, the more pigmented it is and the longer, the more diffused. So yeah, these are, this angled one is the KJH04 and this one is the KJH03. You can actually also use this for cream contour if you wanted, but I already have brushes for that as you can tell. Still in line with blushes, I have another one and this is the Sonia G Mini Base. I actually have two of this and that's how much I love this. This is a very, very versatile brush and if I'm going to travel, this is the one brush I would take because I can use it for foundation, for concealer, for blush, for contour, anything. And I love this brush for really pigmented blushes and also for applying blush in a certain area. So this allows you to kind of stipple and blend just to a certain area. So if for example you want a baby doll look and you want to focus on the apples of your cheeks, this is the perfect blush. If you just want to focus on the outer part, this is the perfect brush. And if you want a really multi-purpose brush and if you only buy one thing from everything I've talked about, this is it. because it's that versatile. This is also a mix of natural and synthetic since it comes from the Fusion series, but she also actually released this shape from the Kiyaki brush set, which is her travel brush set, and that's how I discovered my love for it because it's just super good. As you can see, I've used this for blush, but I also sometimes use it for powder, so love this shape. For those of you that are familiar with Zoeva brushes, by the way, this will remind you of, I think, Lisa Eldridge's favorite one, which is the Zoeva base brush. Zoeva has a similar shape to this, so if you want a more affordable option, you can check that out. We're down to our last few brushes, and now we're going to talk about my powder brushes. and. I have two for you right here and it's mainly just preference or whichever is clean. So 
I'll start with the Hourglass Dual Ended Brush and I love this because it's very multi-purpose, very great for travel, very great if you just want to invest in one brush that does a lot of things. So you can use this for contour, for highlight, for setting your powder, whether it's a setting powder, a loose powder, or a pressed powder, this is the brush for you. So if you had to make me choose, this is the end that I use the most because it fits my face the best since there's not a lot of real estate. But if I'm in a rush and I want to finish my face really fast, this is the side that I use. This other one, which is the KJH1 brush, is also a similar shape to Hourglass, but I just use this if I want a more diffused kind of application or if I want if a product is very, very dense, this is what I use. This is extremely soft for a synthetic brush and definitely something that is a must have in your collection. Our last brush is the mini base and this is actually part of Sonia G's Sky Face Set, but I bought this individually because I find it quite unique. I use this for highlighter because it's not a very dense brush so it can apply the product really well and my favorite product to use with this is actually my Dior Backstage palette. This palette is pretty pigmented but I find that when I use this brush it's more diffused, I can control where I apply it and it just looks very natural in a way. And this is also a very multi-purpose brush because you can actually use this for pinpoint powdering. You can also use this for blush or contour. And if you have a blush palette or a any palette that has a small, small packaging or small real estate, this is the perfect brush because it's very small. And you'll notice that it's actually similar to the Refer 05, so it's a similar shape. So that's why it's very, very versatile. So one thing to note with the brushes that I talked about, I know most of them come with a hefty price, but I definitely think it's worth the investment because they're very multi-purpose. They apply your products really well. And most importantly, brushes do not run out. So this these brushes are definitely going to stay with you for a really long time. Another thing I really love about the brushes that I talked about is how soft they feel on the face. I know how a lot of brush companies usually say these are really soft, etc. But once you try natural haired brushes, girl, your life will be changed because it's super soft, picks a product really well, and actually just performs how brushes should perform. So that's it for the end of my most used face brushes. If you guys enjoyed this video or learned a thing or two, please don't forget to smash the like button down below. Hit the subscribe icon button and the bell icon so you never miss a beat when I post content like this. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! I stumbled to a car I never learned to drive And it's a busy bar